So, I like this whole talk to the camera first thing in the morning. Makes it so that it's not so lonely down here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Breakfast thing was, was interesting. Uh, interesting to read. Um, someone commented that biscuits and gravy... Tucker. Tucker commented that biscuits and gravy were his favorite. I think that's my favorite too. I like biscuits and gravy a lot. You know, a nice... So here's the thing, and I haven't been, uh, I haven't brought this up on purpose because I don't want to, I don't want my show to be seen this way. I'm a, I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to eat sausage gravy, but if you made like a white pepper gravy, oh yeah, like, like Sean said, I could, I could eat that. Alright, today's question. And I think we're just going to stay on the topic of food for a bit. I just because it's 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 not original, but it's 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 on my mind. If you had to eat one breakfast food for the rest of your life, all three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you had to eat one food, but it has to be a breakfast food. What would it be? I hate, capital H-A-T-E, I hate bees and wasps and yellow jackets. And I put out this trap maybe two weeks ago, and so far I've been catching nothing. And today, I've already got two yellow jackets. God, I hate them. Man, they suck. They're just, they're worth nothing. Like, what do they do? They don't do crap. All they do is make more yellow jackets. Eddie Izzard is a great comedian. And I think, I think he puts it best. Bees, they, you know, what, they, they do something useful. They make honey, right? You know what wasps do? Wasps go back to their nest and they just make more fucking wasps. That's it. Ugh. Before anybody comes at me like, why are you killing all the wasps? You shouldn't trap them like that. We have a wasp problem in my yard, okay? I can't cut the grass without getting stung. All right, I think the yellow jackets are in the backyard, but I can't, I can't do yard work. Every time I do yard work, I get attacked. So, we're gonna fix this problem. And if I, I, if yellow jackets, if you watch these videos, I'm coming for you, and I'm gonna get you, and you're gonna die. This is the sign of a true friend right here. A good buddy of mine um, was listening to the radio and he was like, dude, you'd love this song. So then he just starts taking videos of the radio <laughs> with the song playing. And that's love right there. Like that's what a true friend does. You know, he was just like, you gotta hear this song. So he just took, he took little clips of the, he took little clips of the radio. I don't know. It's cool. Thanks, man. So this is kind of cool. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this before. Um, I am updating the XV5050 right now. Um, and so what's going on is uh, my computer is sending uh, MIDI files that were provided by Roland because this hasn't been updated in quite a bit. Um, it's sending MIDI files provided by Roland uh, through this guy right here my interface 
um, through that red cable on the floor back there all the way over to this guy. And it's uh seems like it's kind of a slow process. But I think that's kind of cool. So while this is updating, I just want to take a quick moment to reiterate a point that I was trying to make on Sunday. And that is that we need to take time to slow down sometimes and appreciate how far we've come. Because sometimes I personally focus so hard on my passion and my purpose that I don't slow down. I don't take a moment to appreciate how far I've come. And I don't take any time to realize that those little things I take for granted, um, you know, like the fact that I was able to purchase a house and the fact that I didn't have any debt when I graduated and the fact that I, you know, have a job that pays my bills comfortably and, and that kind of thing. And it allow, allows me to make these videos. Um, I don't ever take the time to appreciate how blessed I am for that, how much privilege I have. Um, so I, I think, I think, yeah, we should all definitely live with a purpose. Um, we should all definitely chase our passions. I'm certainly doing that. Um, but we also need to stop and, and be thankful for what we have. It's still updating. What the hell, Roland? So today's video has a cool song in it that is kind of a video game theme and I want to go ahead and put it out there to anybody who creates video games. Um, I'd love to write music for your video games. If anybody out there is developing a video game and you don't have music, contact me. One more thing I want to say today before I uh, disconnect with everybody. Um, my friends, hold on. The guys that I work with, uh, the creative group, the label, the collective, whatever you want to call them. Um, we're a collection of artists and we're known as Vivid Kind. I'll right, close up with that right there. Yeah. These guys are insanely cool. Send us your email or your uh, work or whatever you're working on if you want to be part of the collective to info at vividkind. Dot, and we'll take a look at it. Listen to, uh, go listen to the song today and, and tell me if you enjoy it. It's, it's pretty cool. It's driving. Driving music for sure. But uh, as always, my name is Garden Sound. Take care.